So we've seen the basic parts of a graphical search engine search. Now let's see how to build a simple query. Again, open the graphical search engine by going to the Tools button and Graphical Search Engine. And let's suppose we want to find all the verses where the words faith, love, and the appear in one verse in the King James Version. I'm going to open an example graphical search engine search that ships with BibleWorks by going to File and Open and then find Tutor1.kf. This is the search that we'll be building from scratch in just a moment. It is the equivalent to the search if I type this on the command line, a period, faith, love, and the. And let's see how this search translates to the graphical search engine. The building blocks of all graphical search engine queries are the word box, and the merge box. Each word box represents a word or a set of words in the query. In this example, we'll be creating one word box for each of the three words that we see here. A merge box tells the graphical search engine how you want to combine a set of word boxes. It can be thought of as an equivalent to the familiar Boolean operator. A merge box can represent an AND operation, and we see here that the merge box indicates AND, or an OR operation, or a NOT operation. If we double click within the merge box, we see those options available to us. You can click the radio button for AND, OR, or invert results to NOT. So with the radio button click to OR, and I click OK, notice that my merge box has changed to an OR search. So in a search where we wish to find all verses where faith and love and the appear in the verse, we use the AND merge box. Let's start with a clear command line. Make sure that you've switched to the King James Version as your search version. You can do so by typing KJV into the command line and hitting Enter. Then open a new graphical search engine query window by going to the Tools button and Graphical Search Engine. We need a word box for each word in our query for faith, love, and the. So in addition to the one word box that appears, we'll need two more. I'll click on the Word Box button here. Do that two times. And by default, my mouse cursor is set for selection and dragging, so I'll move these two Word Boxes to a different position to see them a bit better. The position of Word Boxes and Merge Boxes doesn't really matter to how your search will be run, but it's helpful to position them in a way that you feel comfortable with so you can better see what you're searching for. So now I'll enter the search terms that I'm searching for. Click on the recessed top half of one of the word boxes and wait. When you click on the recessed area, make sure the mouse is motionless. Otherwise, the text entry area will not open. A white text entry area will appear. Then type in the word faith and press enter. In the next word box, Click on the recessed area in the top half and wait. A text entry area will appear. Type in the word love and then enter. And in the last word box, click in the recessed area. When the text entry area appears, type in the word the and hit enter. Now we want to connect these word boxes to the merge box. Click on this button, the set word connect mode. Then click within a word box and drag an arrow from that word box to the merge box and release your mouse button. Do this for each word box that is not connected to the merge box. And remember not to leave any word boxes unconnected. And remember if you wish to move any of the boxes around, click on the set select mode, 
Then click on any box that you wish to move. And drag it to where you wish to position it on the screen. Now we're ready to run the search query. To do so, we press the Go button. The search will be run and the results copied to the search window. When you're done running the search, close the query window. When asked if you wish to save the search, say no. Or if you've constructed a search that you wish to save, click the yes and give the search a name. Then save it.